it measures when you relax, it measures when you're doing stuff, it measures when, uh, you know, when, when your brain is, is, is working almost. Uh, it's pretty impressive stuff. The first thing was to get the information about recovery and also about the individual differences between the players. What's, what have the, the results shown you? We have followed now the night recovery. We find out that there's uh, seven hours or seven, eight hours after the game when the player starts recovery. And that's been the main, main thing and uh, what we have got from results that, that, that the game delays so much the night recovery. I fell asleep most like one o'clock or something after a, after a night game but the recovering started uh, three or four hours later. So that's, that's the thing that, uh, as I said, that uh, I've been thinking that maybe I should get my mind and, and my body more relaxed, that there is nothing I can do, I can't do during the sleep. So maybe that's the, that's the thing to start the recovering maybe a little bit earlier that, than before. And uh, that's uh, something that I, I, I hope I can, I can change some, some things and habits after the games. And, and of course, during the day too, that uh, it was it was good to see that during uh, a recovering time during the day, um, there is still the stress and, and and stuff that I could I could get uh, recovering during the day too. So napping or something would help me. And you had the first beat on during during a game. Can you tell me tell me a little bit about that that experience? Yeah, uh, we played a, a home game and. Uh, I felt I felt a little bit sick or a little bit dehydrated. Uh, I felt my heart rate was was really high. I had a tough time uh, recovering on on the ice, and when I came to the bench, I just I was exhausted. Uh, so uh, of course it, it was right after the road trip, but uh, of course you get a little bit worried why you don't recover. You feel you're in a good shape. Uh, so we, we used the, uh, the thing to the fit, but to. To uh, to see and to measure my heart rate during the game, uh, both for me to calm me down if there was something, and e even for the doctors too. And uh, you know, it, it worked really well. Uh, we got to we checked we checked it every period, and uh, you know, sometimes you maybe think there is you know something wrong, and it's nice to see that that you can put a little thing uh, around your chest and, and, and see there is nothing nothing wrong. How have you adjusted training based on the results? Uh, of course, when you see when the player player is not well recovered after the game, then we have, or then it's time time to think think that uh, is it important or is it necessary to train or be in an uh, ice m next morning. So we have we have changed uh, a lot of ex especially at the away games that we have removed some morning ices on uh, free days. I think that can help you too through a season sometimes. If, if you are tired, you can put it on, see hey, where I'm at. And uh, if your body don't recover, you know, they can do something about it. Or if it does, then it keeps you kind of in the game. You know what I mean? So it, it, it's really good. The biggest aim is to help players to learn themselves, to get information how, how the body and even the mind works. And player would learn to know himself. In team sport, you have to play maybe average three times in a week. And you should be always fresh, full of energy to play. Uh, first beat helps us to understand the importance of, of recovery in, in team sport. And, and that's the second big thing why we use first beat.